Well, you guys try this one. I'll give you a few minutes, all right? Uh, this one I'm just going to approach just a tiny bit differently. So again, uh, I, I always like to ignore those parentheses on the quantity to the left there. Um, because it's not negative and it's just a regular polynomial right there. But this, uh, this minus here that's separating the two, um, well, if I change that to plus, uh, minus or negative really tells us we're doing the opposite of whatever we have. So let's do the opposites of everything on the inside of this parenthesis. So we got a minus, minus, and a plus right there. It's the same thing as distributing a negative one, just said differently. And whichever way works for you, the best way to think about it, well, do it that way, all right? So let's rewrite this thing. So there's our new expression. So maybe this helps us to see exactly that we have just changed the signs of all the, well, signs of the second quantity. And now we can combine like terms. So starting with x cubed, uh, and again, this is something that I do. I just go from left to right, but if you guys wanted to find the highest degree, which you may have to on some of the problems, that would be fine as well. So we got 3x cubed plus 4x cubed, which when I combine these two, I still have x cubed, but 3 plus 4 is 7. Next one, a negative, well, I'll make that a negative 1x squared. And then I've got this other negative 1x squared. So when I combine these x squareds, I get a negative 2x squared. And then the next term is just a positive 2x. And I'm going to combine this with this minus 6x. So combining these two, we would get a negative 4x. And finally, we got this negative 6 plus 6. And these two are going to cancel out. I mean, you could write plus zero if you wanted, but that's a lot of extra work, so I'm going to skip it. That would be our answer because it already is in descending order of degree.